Twelve years after she was involved in a hit-and-run accident along Thika Road, one woman from Embu County has decided to turn her tears and scars to a good cause, starting a campaign to not only raise funds for paraplegics, but to also encourage those who find themselves in such a situation. Dorothy Gashe, who wheeled herself from Embu to Nairobi to raise two million shillings, hears her story and experience, which she likens to refer as 12 years a warrior. Now, even though I voiced this story, this beautiful piece was produced by Ben Kirui. Take a look. Flagged off by Boda Boda operators in Embu town, Dorothy Gache embarked on a 130-kilometer journey to Nairobi on Wednesday. It was no ordinary journey. Dorothy wheeled herself for more than 26 hours in a bid to raise 2 million shillings to support paraplegics, a challenge, she says, was inspired by her past and triumph over her disability caused by a hit-and-run accident 12 years ago. Through my positivity, I want to spread the love out there to raise his funds to enter to support the less fortunate, those are, who are living as accident survivors and they cannot access wheelchairs and uh, footprints, um, compression pumps, therapy and every other thing related to accident. The month of July being the International Disability Pride Month, Dorothy Gache opted to hit the road on an inspiring journey to touch the survivors of road accidents whose lives took an agonizing twist. This campaign journey, according to her, is a gift to herself. God has given me the challenge. I decided to take the challenge. And I took it gracefully. So it's from then that I started celebrating my birthday. I call it my second birthday. Every July, I celebrate a birthday. And this means that I was born again. Because this is not the dirty that was born years ago. This is a new dirty. A new dirty that will have to learn how to sleep in new ways. A new dirty that will learn how to eat in new ways because it's never the same. Living with a disability for Dorothy has, however, been a life of pain, tears, anger, and nightmares. At one point, she contemplated suicide to end it all. But five years after that fateful day, when she was involved in a hit-and-run accident near Roasters Inn along Thicker Road, Dorothy decided to turn her disability into ability beginning a campaign to help those in a similar situation. Five solid years of battling de denial. And I was like, it's been five years. I've battled denial. This thing is not changing. And apparently, it doesn't look like it will change. Ch and Sonica Jambia, change tactic. Because you're battling this, change tactic and battle it. It has an eye It has an eye depression. It chopped it and decided to take the challenge. Dorothy, who says she was inspired by Tony Hudgel, a five-year-old British boy who used his prosthetic legs to walk for 10 kilometers and raised 100 million shillings for the hospital that saved his life, hopes to raise about 2 million shillings to fund her own motorized wheelchair and 50 other regular ones for Kenya's paraplegic community.